Welcome, everyone. To get centered this week, we're going to look at a few recommended passages. Um, I'd invite you to read on your own Psalm 23, specifically verse 4, um, Isaiah 42, 3. And the verse that we're going to be looking at today is from Joshua 1, 9. So as we prepare to do that, let's light a candle to remind us to get centered. From Joshua 1, 9, I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God's word for God's people. Thanks be to God. So our passage today is a very comforting one. It's one that many of us have heard. Maybe we've seen it on memes or um, have had it passed to us for a long time. But it's also kind of problematic. It's a little bit problematic because these words of comfort, if you read them in context, come on the eve of a terrible event. Um, These words come to Joshua right before their army's invasion uh, and and, uh, the destruction of the city of Jericho. So they are to be strong and courageous, knowing that God is beside them as they conquer and destroy a city. Um, And this is really hard to to read and understand in the in the, if we take it um, literally and historically it's not usually the context we think of with of God walking with us through life but we can actually look at it in a different way um, there's many ways to to look at the scripture reading the story literally we we may be troubled by it because of the circumstances but per but looking at it um, metaphorically it might be different most of us as people of faith can very much um, not relate to the idea of God being with us conquering a city, but we can relate to the idea of um, fighting the battles of everyday life. Um, This week you may have faced battles of your own, some very difficult things, whether in uh, mind or body or spirit. Perhaps you've, uh, you know, battled with your spouse about finances. Or maybe you uh, had a rough week with your kids or grandkids as they are trying to navigate this new school that we're doing. Perhaps you have a health issue or maybe somebody that you love and it's just been weighing really heavy on your heart. Or maybe you're dealing with a temptation of some kind and, and you're just really wrestling with that every single day. Many are the battles that we face week in and week out. Now Joshua certainly had his own battle to face in the passage, um, but really not just the people of Jericho that that were awaiting them, but also within himself. Um, You may not know this, but right before this passage, we read about Moses, um, Joshua's leader and mentor. Uh, Moses has died. Right before they get in the promised land, um, they lose their leader. And so there had to be some grief some struggle for Joshua as he thought about taking those next steps without Moses. Now as God came to Moses, God would also reassure Joshua by coming to him, reminding him of God's steadfast love and enduring presence, that there would be nothing that he could do without, jo- without God by his side. No matter what battles we face, it's always good for us to remember that too. Our prayer today from Ash and Starlight, Prayers for the Chaos and Grace of Daily Life by Ariane Braithwaite Lane, is called When I'm at the End of a Hard Week. Let us pray. Guide of my mind, companion of my heart, you bring me gifts of solace and encouragement at the close of another week. Some events bruised my heart, some discouraged my hopes, some pierced me with panic, some caused me to shut down. And so God, it is grace, it is gift, it is life that you welcome me with love, meeting my soul in its most tender spot. You come to me in my longing and my angst as I process the week or wonder how long I'll face these circumstances. When my temptation, gentle God, is to ask when or how long, collect my breathing in a centered rhythm, absorbed within this moment, focused on you and your goodness. 
Use all I've experienced this week to help me break open and bloom. Amen.